The signs say stores for lease from Thor Equities, but they might as well say Joe Sit. Sit owns almost all the buildings along Surf Avenue and many of the vacant lots. Last year, he made headlines when he finally sold the city the land that's become a new Luna Park. It's an exciting day. This is just a taste of what's coming down the road for Coney Island. Sit is from Brooklyn and still lives just blocks away. He spent much of his time here, including when he cut school. The nickname was uh, for plain hooky was Joey Coney Island, so to speak. So I guess it was all uh, predetermined in terms of my involvement at in Coney Island. Now Sit wants to build hotels here, including on the site of the former Henderson Music Hall, where Harpo Marx made his stage debut. Critics argue many of his buildings should be saved because of their historical value, but Sit disagrees. Every one of these buildings are just horrible, run-down relics and uh, with nothing exciting about them. I hate to say it, but the great buildings of Coney Island disappeared 80 years ago. Sit says he'll reuse the vintage signs in a more modern setting. He wants to bring in two big hotels, one with a kids theme, the other with an indoor water park to make Coney Island a year-round destination. And I know the word large-scale scares everyone. It shouldn't. Large-scale hotel just means we're going to bring people, we're going to bring action, we're going to bring vitality. But those are long-term plans. For the 2011-2012 seasons, Sit said he'll tear down the Surf Avenue properties and put up a temporary one-story entertainment complex. It was about 10 years ago. Sit started buying up properties here until he controlled a large chunk of the area. When the city wanted to step in to create an amusement district, it had to go through SIT. Negotiations were contentious. He says the breakthrough came when he sat down last year with the mayor. I think with the start was that breakfast meeting that Mike Bloomberg invited me to, and he was very, very cordial and friendly, and we really bonded. SIT sold nearly seven acres to the city for about $96 million, including the old Astroland site that he labeled outdated. He wants fresh and new and says the transformation is already underway. It's somewhat of a work in progress, but it's cooking. In Brooklyn, Janine Ramirez, New York One.